Kalachis are a staple here in the Houston area and in Texas, and now they're being used to help raise money for survivors of Hurricane Harvey. On Saturday, runners will pound the pavement in the first Kalachi Factory Challenge 5K. And here to talk about the race is Don Nielsen, Kalachi Factory Chief Operating Officer and Adam Levinson, race organizer. Thank you so much for joining us. So this is a different kind of race. This is my kind of race because you eat kolaches. How, how, does this, how does this all work? So you can eat kolaches at the midway point. The oh. challenge is eat three kolaches at the midway point and okay. either run or walk back to the finish line. Or you can just do a casual regular 5K and uh -huh. save your kolaches for after. Okay, that is definitely motivation to get to the end of the race. And so we understand that KPRC viewers are going to get a discount. Yes, I believe they get yep. $5 off. Use correct? code KPRC at checkout. You can go to kolachifactorychallenge.com. Yeah, and tell me uh, real quick, this money is going toward helping Harvey survivors. That is so important. How, how, does, how is the money going to be used? So it's going to Memorial Assistance Ministries. Part of your registration fee will go back to that charity, mm -hmm. one of the top charities in Houston, and that charity is still helping families recover um, and get back on their feet and get back to normal after Harvey. Super important. Don, the star of the show, the kolaches, of course. That's Tell me right. what we have here. Well, we're going to make the traditional kolache um, that's from Eastern Europe, okay. and this is fruit-filled. So you can use your favorite jams, jellies, um, uh, pizza, uh, not pizza fillings, excuse me, um, your um, pie fillings, whatever okay. you like. Um, and what we do is it's really simple. You just make a little divot. Okay, and I'm actually going to try this. I'm sure mine is going to come And you out just don't want to go all the way through. You want a nice little thin. Is that okay right there? Does that look okay? A little bit more. A little, a little bit, bit more. Yeah. Okay, mine's a mutant kolache. No, you're doing good. That's okay. perfect. Andy Sirota's laughing at me. I hear you over there. Okay, so <laughs> something like this. Yes, and so we just keep doing that, and then okay. you pick your favorite fruit filling. So Andy's, right now I have cherry here. This Andy's uh, loves fruit filling. You've got um, cherry as well. And how much? Just, just as much until you, you feel like it's full. Okay. So not too much. You don't want to overflow. Is that okay? Yep, that's perfect. Maybe that doesn't look as bad as I thought it no, would. No, you're okay. doing great. You're we'll hired. Peach. I'm hired. Okay. We could always use a, a second career here. That's right. <laughs> and we have early morning hours just like you guys. We, that's right. Probably almost as early as us. Okay, so I'll stick to two, and I'll kind of, so this is about how you would do it, and then what would be the next step? So the next step is we put it into our oven, okay. um, and we bake it for about 30 minutes at 315 degrees, okay. um, and then they come out uh, nice and brown and beautiful like we have right there. Excellent. So now we know how to make kolaches, and I understand my co-anchor Keith Garvin is going to be participating in the race. We are really looking forward to that, and the race will be held on May 5th. The information for that is on our website, click to Houston.com. We're going to post that a little bit later this afternoon. Thank you both for being here and for bringing these beautiful kolaches. You're so welcome. We brought a ton for the whole crew, so <laughs> hope you're hungry. They're very happy with us. Thank you so much.